Reforming the Grade Grubbers, the Effect of Labor-Based Grading Systems on High-Performing High School Students, a Case Study by Lois Bennett. I became interested in labor-based grading after taking Kate Pantelidis' class last semester, and a colleague of mine has also been using labor-based grading. And since the students that are in her class this year will be in my class next year, I decided to look into the system. What is the problem with grades? There is a lot of research that grades can cause a lot of problems. When grades get introduced in elementary school, a fixed mindset begins to set in and students become focused on extrinsic motivation. They associate grades with success. Grades can encourage competitiveness and diminish an interest in learning. Students become obsessed with the scores they get and not what they're actually learning. And because of this, students quit taking risks in their assignments and what they're writing about because they choose an easy assignment, an easy project, because it's the grade that's important and easy equals good grades. How does labor-based grading improve that? My research focused on three elements, although there's a ton, volumes of books about how labor-based grading improves learning. The three that I focused on are involving students in the goal-setting process, rewarding risk-taking uh, so that students write more and write with more variety. And labor-based grading fosters a growth mindset by rewarding effort and revision. It can help undo the damage that the elementary grades and testing have done to instill a fixed mindset. My case study focused on three AP language classes at Central Magnet and Smyrna High. I interviewed AP Nickerson and Sarah Esberger. Sarah Morris at Central Magnet did not return my interview questions, but her students did respond to my survey. A total of 151 students responded to my anonymous survey. The three teachers that I interviewed, um, they based their gradeless system on this book, Pointless, by Sarah Zerwin, which is set up specifically for English teachers. Their goal in embracing this was to improve student writing and motivate their students to look beyond the grade. Their system had three focal points, goal selection. Their students chose three academic goals for the semester, and then every student works on the three class goals of being a positive community member, practicing successful student habits, and frequent reflection. The teachers replaced numerical grades with descriptive feedback that is focused on the goals that the students themselves selected. They also would encourage the students to reflect by having them reflect weekly on their own progress toward goals. And then finally, in order to determine a student's grades, their final grade that had to go on the report card, they would sit down and, or they would have the students write a narrative essay requesting the grade they thought they had earned. And then they would sit down and conference with them. <clears throat> Overall, the teachers found this to be very successful. And my survey results indicated that as well. I won't spend a lot of time going over these, but it does show that the majority of the students ended up loving the system eight months later. And most of them found the amount of work to be about the same or harder than it was in a traditional class. Very few of the students felt that this was easier, and that is important to my conclusion since one of the concerns was that a class like this would not challenge an upper level learner or a traditionally motivated learner. So in conclusion, the results of the case study are encouraging. All the teachers experienced great success, even with the grade grubbers, and they saw improvements in student writing and students' attitudes toward writing. Ms. Nickerson even feels that her teaching is more purposeful. So will I embrace a gradeless system next year? Well, possibly, I'm still on the fence. I'd like to get this whole grad school thing finished up before I make that decision. But this study has definitely led me closer to that direction.